Stop being useless and get the washing out. Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Tech and we're doing laundry online not money laundering or anything exciting like this we're actually just dealing with dirty clothes and I'm notorious for two things either mixing my whites with red cotton jumpers leading to my white underwear constantly being pink and leaving washing inside my washing machine for days in a row causing me to rewash it again because it smells and that puts the pressure on my relationship on my relationship with my significant other not with the washing machine my washing machine is absolutely fine with this so i've got this cheapo washing machine loaded it costs about 150 pounds and it's the only model that fits in here uh, but this time it's different because this time this washing machine it's smart and it will tell me when it's done i'll start the washing now and I'll tell you all about it later. So how do you get notified? You've got a couple of uh, options in here and I'm using join for node red uh, and that will give me a notification to my computer, to my laptop and to my mobile. In addition to this, I also gonna have a Google Home notification and the first notification that you're gonna get when the washing is done and bear in mind I'm faking it because obviously I'm not going to synchronize the washing with this video. This is the first notification. Your washing is done. Now, if you have a nagging enabled and you're enjoying being reminded in a various way, I also have a randomized nagging enabled and let me give you a sample. Stop being useless and get the washing out. So every five minutes until you turn off the washing, you'll be greeted with the messages randomly picked by Google. How many times do I have to tell you to empty the washing machine? It does sound like my wife. Let's try it again. Washing machine is not going to empty itself. Move your bum. Yeah. So, um, as soon as you're going to turn off the washing machine, these will stop. So don't worry. And those are optional. You don't have to have them enabled. In addition to that, you're going to see a Android notification from Join on your computer and on your uh, phone. And it looks like this. Uh, that notification isn't re, uh, resent to you, so it stays there until you cancel it. Uh, you can make it uh, permanent if you want as well, uh, but I see no point in reissuing notification like this if it stays on the screen. You should be, you know, checking on your phone probably more often than you're checking on your washing machine. So yeah, that's how it looks like. While my tutorial is based on a washing machine, you can use this method to control dishwasher, tumble dryer and a couple of other appliances that basically automatically turn off or turn uh, go to the standby mode. And what I'm using is a Sonoff device. This is POW R2 model, so apart from switching devices on and off, as the name suggests, uh, it will monitor the power use. And knowing how much power is being drawn any given time helps us establish when the device is operational, which helps as a trigger, and when the device is no longer drawing a large amount of current, which indicates when it goes to a standby mode or when it finished the job. And this is the time we're going to issue the notification, in this case to my mobile phones, computers, and Google Home. And because uh, Amazon Echo isn't exactly compatible with uh, making it speak on its own, oh, I really, really hate that. Uh, then, unfortunately, Alexa is not supported for that. So, we know we're going to use this one. We need to flash it first. Fortunately, I have a video for it. It's super easy to do it. So just uh, there is going to be a link to the video if you want to learn how to flash this with Tasmota and how to 
use it with Dasmota. And in this video, we're gonna focus on two things: on using this with the Node Red, uh, discovering when we should trigger um, the alarm, and writing a logic around it. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the Node Red version of uh, this. And as you can see, it's much simpler than my mobile notifications from 3D printer. And actually a chunk of the code, which is in here, reuses stuff I've wrote, uh, wrote for, uh, I've written for the mobile notifications, which is also here. So how it works, every minute in this case, that's the resolution, I calculate the energy used by the washing machine. And as you can see the dashboard, obviously it's not reporting a washing machine, it's connected to a light and I can um, decide how much power the light draws to troubleshoot this. But every minute it reports back how much energy it uses. I've tested it with the washing machine as well and it works at that resolution perfectly. So now we know how it's working, let's uh, have a quick overview. There are three sections of this uh, node thread and we have settings, we have a main flow and we have additional information control. So this is to control relay and this is to get some basic information should you need to look it up. Now let's take a look at how it works. First of all, uh, there's a couple of things that we have to set. There is a cost of tariff if you are interested in getting a price of your washing. There is a nagging mode. Nagging mode means that every five minutes I'm gonna get Google Home notifications saying like I should uh, do the washing and take it out until I turn off the washing machine. There's a detection for that. And there's two settings that I should set. Uh, it's a timeout and the standby power limit. Let's start with the standby power limit. When you turn on the washing machine, it will draw some power. And in my case, it will draw one watt of power. And that's what I've set as my standby power limit. So uh, the node red will know that it's in a standby. It's not actually performing any notifications on any uh, washing yet. And it will return to that limit after the washing is complete. Uh, if it drops to zero, it means I actually turned off the washing machine and the node red will assume that I also taken out the washing machine, uh, the washing from the machine. So the uh, next one is a timeout in minutes. During different cycles of washing, you have to remember that the washing machine may take a little bit less power. And in my tests, I reported as little as three watts at times when the washing machine was changing into a different program. So I've set that timeout to be five minutes. It's okay. I mean, like, I don't think you be, you're gonna be bothered if you get notified five minutes after the washing has been done. Also that five minutes is gonna be accounted for what we've do doing in here to calculate the washing time, etc. So let's take a look now at the main flow itself. So I'm using the um, uh, flow in here, the, the HTTP, to connect to Son of POW. Obviously, if you want to get uh, know how to use it, smarter and HTTP request, just look it up. That's on my previous tutorial. I'll link that in the description for you. Once I've got that, I'm just gonna turn it into JSON. And there's two things that's gonna happen. Now, once I can post the results to washing machine uh, dashboard, so this is here and I can display it if you're interested, that's a bonus. But I will calculate a couple of things. And in here, you'll see that I'll see if the, my array exists. If array exists, I'll start collecting uh, details of the wash. And I'll collect only amount of details specified by timeouts. I'm performing the checks every uh, one minute. And if my timeout is five minutes, then I'll collect five readouts and then I'll start deleting the oldest entry. And I do it for a specific reason, because I'm gonna calculate the average within that array. Now, if that average is a has a positive value, means the washing machine is operating. But as soon as that average drops below one watt, it means that, uh, oh, it's one watt, that means that the washing machine has stopped. And this is a very clever way of monitoring what happened in the last five minutes, because you exactly know using math what happened. And you don't have to arm anything, you don't have to set anything, it will does it automatically will start monitoring automatically and will stop monitoring automatically as well. So this is a great uh, stuff because you don't have to remember about setting anything. 
Now, uh, I also at this point uh, calculate the running costs, uh, so I check if the running costs are exist. And as I did this exactly the same thing for printer, I create an array which stores the electricity. And uh, I calculate on the fly electricity uh, used every minute. So it has a resolution of a one minute, so it's accurate to one minute and it works with multiple tariffs. So if your tariff changes, then it doesn't matter because the uh, readout is going to be still accurate. And at the end of a uh, wash, when the wash is complete, I'll just add every single value in that array together to calculate the cost. And that's pretty much it. I've got some debug options in, in here which aren't really needed, but I've left them there for you to check. Now, checking the average is going to have three different uh, outcomes. And I didn't use the switch node because I wanted to control the value of uh, the average uh, dynamically because this is what something this is set by my standby power limit so uh, i have three different options it can go nowhere and clear a couple of things this is where the average power draw is zero when it's uh, minimum standby or less uh, but it's not zero then it uh, assumes that the um, washing machine is just finished and it's still turned on and obviously if it's more than one watt in my case then it assumes that it's washing and based on that you'll perform a couple of different actions now if the washing is on and starts with the washing there's uh, basically collecting the information so I will start the day uh, start counting seconds so that's the uh, flow if the start wasn't set before because that's gonna run every one minute uh, I'm gonna set the start and that's gonna be ignored and then if uh, array exists uh, then I'm gonna start pushing a power information and this is where I get the, the information for power to calculate uh, the cost of the washing now when the washing is complete and the average drops uh, below one or one it's one like I said it depends on your power limit standby then I'm going to send a notification but I want to notify only once so I needed to um, use the flow trick to stop this from repeating every minute so what's going to happen this, this is going to be opened once once it's announced this is going to close again and it'll never fire again so um, in announcing uh, stage I'm going to calculate everything so you're just going to calculate the wash time so I take the current day uh, current time versus the start time calculate it into hours and hours and minutes I'll calculate the power session so I'll take everything sum it uh, and based on that I'll know how much power or how much power and money has been used uh, so that's been done with the total cost as well and uh, clear the message uh, message uh, in here uh, object because uh, I don't want any header information for the cast node and that cast node in here is going to be uh, the one issuing notification to the Google Home. Uh, now if I have a nagging enabled, this is true and false in here, then this delay every five minutes is going to loop again and again and again until I break this with this switch so I can turn off the um, nagging here or I can turn off the nagging in here which is basically when the average is zero so I have to go downstairs and actually turn off my washing machine lastly I'm using this time join to send an easy message back to my mobile and I've talked about the join integration with node right I've got full tutorial so I'm not going to cover this all you need to know that I'm using a couple of uh, variables in here to set and then pass them uh, over to a push message which is basically composing the message uh, for join and that uses join push uh, with a default configuration to send it to the mobile devices of my choice and in this case it's uh, uh, my mobile device my laptop and my computer so those are the notification options I've picked for this project it's only fitting that I'm gonna finish this video with a successful presentation of my project and as you can see the success has been achieved and the washing is done and put uh, onto the drying rack in a timely manner. That proves that it's totally worth it and the only person that's going to be nagging me about the washing machine now is Google Home. Well, what can I do? I hope you enjoyed this project guys and if you're interested, obviously everything is listed in the description of this video. Uh, you can go and download the project there. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you're interested in all of my videos and updates just follow me on social media and you'll get your updates as for now 
Thanks so much for watching. Take care.